Today is the 25th of April 2012 and it's important that you realize that that is today's date and you can confirm that by looking at the timestamp on this video because today I will be uploading two videos. This video first as a private video and my next video which is going to go up public straight away. And if everything went to plan my public video will have attracted the attention of the antenatalist crowd here on YouTube and will have been visited by them and people will have commented on that video, maybe even made video responses. One can only hope and I have no idea what's going to happen so fingers crossed that this will happen. But I'm making this video because I want anybody who has been looking at that video and has been possibly thinking that I lost my mind to know that this was a setup. This was deliberately designed to trip up the antenatalists. So what have I done in the other video? What was my plan in the other video? Well, if you've watched the other video, you will have seen that I presented a pronatalist position, a pronatalist argument, and that the argument that I presented was utterly bizarre, utterly retarded, basically. It was an idiotic argument. It was utterly fallacious. It made no sense whatsoever. But if you were careful, if you watched the video and if you looked at how I presented my argument, you may have noticed that my pronatalist argument that I presented in that video actually took the exact same form as the antenatalist argument does. And therein lies the rub. You see, I hope, and I am fairly confident, fingers crossed, that this will happen, that the antenatalists will fall over each other in this video, trying to, in the other video, trying to debunk my argument. And because my argument takes the exact same form as the antenatalist argument, everything they say to debunk the pronatalist argument that I present in that video, automatically, by virtue of it being an argument against the exact same form of argument, also debunks the antenatalist. Any fallacy that they point out in my pronatalist argument is an equal fallacy in the antenatalist argument. All the reasons that they can come up, thing, come, come up with for discarding the pronatalist argument are equally valid reasons for discarding the antenatalist argument. Both arguments are in form identical. They are both fallacious in the exact same way. They are both equally absurd and stupid. And if you can see why my pronatalist video was absurd and stupid, then you can also see why the antenatalist position is absurd and stupid. And with that, I think we can truly declare this discussion over. Goodbye.